Good evening, mere mortals. Aunt Diane here. Join me as I give you a brief synopsis of the original 1959 House on Haunted Hill. The story begins with a crazy old rich man named Frederick, who along with his wife, Annabelle, throw a party in a rented mansion that is supposedly haunted. He offers five people $10,000 each if they spend the entire night in the house. Crazy old Frederick arranges for each of the party guests to arrive in hearses. The owner of the house, a Mr. Watson Pritchard, is going to be spending the night as one of the five people. In the past, a few of his family members were murdered in the house and he came very close to death himself. The five party guests arrive and do not know each other, so introductions are made. They also do not know the host of the party, but he knows that all five of them are desperate for the money. A young lady named Nora, who actually works for one of Frederick's companies, but has never met him, is almost hit and killed by a falling chandelier. So another guest, Lance, who happens to be a test pilot, runs and pushes her out of the way just in time. After the incident with the chandelier falling, a couple other crazy things happen, like doors closing by themselves and you couldn't get them back open. They just mysteriously lock. One of the guests is named Ruth and she's a newspaper um, columnist and She's actually desperate for the money because she had a gambling addiction, which is where all her money went. Uh, she was really pretty much trying to stay cool and collective and not freaking out whenever anything happened. But then blood fell down from the ceiling onto her hand. The hosts of the party, Frederick and Annabelle, finally come and introduce themselves. Uh, they let everybody know that if you want to back out of the deal, you have until 12 midnight before the caretakers of the mansion lock it up. And then the doors and the windows, everything's barred. There'll be no way to get out until 8 o'clock the following morning. Um, everybody's kind of touring the house, looking around, and a bunch of strange things start happening, especially to Nora. She's uh, starting to freak out. Like little ghosts jump out at her and... You know, the, the audience watching the movie doesn't know if it's uh, their tricks set up to just scare the guests or not. Um, but Nora's really freaking out. One of the other guests, Lance, who is actually a gentleman and seems to have taken a liking to Nora, tries to stick by her as much as possible until he pushes a wall in and it turns and he gets stuck on the other side. Frederick and Annabelle, the hosts of the party, don't have a very good marriage. Um, she is his fourth wife, and his first three wives disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Um, and he suspects that she had tried to poison him at one point to get his money. Uh, they don't have the greatest uh, trust for each other. The one character who I have not yet introduced you to is a Dr. David Trent. He is having an affair with Frederick's wife, Annabelle. At a few minutes to midnight, Nora has had enough and wants to leave. However, the caretakers of the house have just locked the door a few minutes early and now she's stuck the rest of the night. The host of the party, Frederick, has provided party favors for his guests, 
They each get their own gun for protection. Each party guest is shown to their own bedroom where they, when they are ready to retire for the night, if they are ever ready, and to keep their stuff. Nora goes to look in her suitcase for something and finds a head, and she really freaks out at that point. Nora's new friend, Lance, who, by the way, has made his way out of the wall trap he was in earlier, comes to comfort Nora, looks in the suitcase, and there's no head there, just her regular clothing. After Lance leaves to go back to his own room, Annabelle comes in to talk to Nora and warn her about all the sinister things her husband Frederick has done and that she's the fourth wife and the other wives have all mysteriously disappeared and that she is scared. Lance and Nora hear a scream. They run to the hallway to see what it is and see Annabelle hanging. Frederick was suspicious that somebody must have murdered Annabelle because she couldn't have hung herself from the uh, way that she was hanging in the hallway. Uh, later on, she appears in the window as a ghost in Nora's room. We later find out that the good doctor and Annabelle had faked her death all along. Their plan is to get Nora to shoot Frederick because the doctor happens to specialize in psychiatric patients who experience hysteria. Lance and Nora run down to the basement because they think that is a safe place to get away from Frederick. He does come in there and of course she shoots him. In the basement is a vat of acid that they were shown when they first arrived at the house. It is said that past victims who had died in the house were thrown into the vat where their bodies dissolved and only the bones were left. Annabelle and Dr. David then come down to the basement to see if the job was done. The lights went out and a scuffle ensued. Annabelle goes to look in the vat to make sure that Frederick's body has dissolved in there. When Frederick's voice comes from behind her, she looks and it's just a skeleton and she is pushed into the vat. We then see that Frederick is indeed alive with a contraption to control the skeleton like you would a puppet. He explains that the bullets in the gun that Nora shot were blanks. He knew of the plan between the two illicit lovers all along. So it was not him that went in the vat. It was Annabelle and Dr. David. We then see the bones from the recently deceased float up to the top of the acid. The owner of the house, Watson, then says, there are now going to be two more ghosts in this house, and I think I will be next. The movie ends. It's never said whether the people that were live at the end of the night got their $10,000 or not. This movie is free on the Internet Archive if you would like to see it. I hope you enjoyed my little presentation. I know there are remakes of this movie, which I hear did not do so well in the reviews. This is the best, the original, the real thing. See you next time. Bye-bye.